Hello and welcome to the Big Gifts video on Stage 1 application for the Christmas Challenge 2016. This video is designed to be viewed in conjunction with the Stage 1 application guide. When you log into your Big Give account area from midday on Monday the 13th of June, you'll see a button to apply for the Christmas Challenge in the top right hand corner. The status of your application will be shown above and there's a button below which links you to the Christmas Challenge essential documents which you must read before applying. So to start, let's click on the Apply to the Christmas Challenge button, which will take us to this screen where we're shown the eligibility criteria for the campaign. You must read all the information about, about the campaign carefully before continuing, as it's vital that you have a full understanding of the Christmas Challenge, and the next section has checks to confirm your understanding. Throughout your application, you'll be able to access the charity resources on our website, which are labelled as either essential or helpful documents. You can get to these by following this link at the top of the page. To continue, you must tick this box at the bottom of the page to agree that you have read and watched all compulsory Christmas challenge resources. The second stage of the Stage 1 application ensures you understand what's involved in the Christmas Challenge through a series of multiple choice questions. To progress your application, you must know what each stage of the campaign involves, the dates for each of the stages, how the matching works, and the roles of those who are involved, i.e. charities, big give champions, pledgers, and online donors. If you answer three consecutive questions incorrectly, your application will be disabled. You'll then be prompted to reread all of the guidance and to email the Big Give to discuss your application. Once you have successfully completed the checks, you'll be asked to submit a project as part of the Christmas Challenge application. This is the project for which you wish to raise funds by participating in the campaign. The funds raised through the Christmas Challenge are restricted to this project. If you already have projects uploaded in your Big Give account area, they'll be displayed in a list here. If the project you wish to submit for the challenge is in the list, you can simply select it and proceed to the next stage. We recommend checking that the details of your project are up to date and you can edit the project if anything needs changing. If the project you would like to submit for the challenge has not yet been uploaded, or if you've never uploaded a project to the Big Give site, you'll need to click on this button at the bottom of the page to upload a new project. This will open a new tab and take you to the project upload form in your charity account area. When you've completed the project form, you'll need to return to your Christmas Challenge application via your account area and refresh the page to see your project displayed in the list. You will then select it and proceed to the next stage. Please remember that once you have selected a project as part of your application, you cannot change it at a later date. The next section is Finances and Target. We recommend drafting answers to this section before starting to complete them online. You can find an outline of these questions on our website to help you. Just go to the Resources page and look in Helpful Documents. You will need to complete all of the questions in the section before being able to save and continue. You will be asked the following questions about your charity's last annual income and your charity's reserves. To be eligible to apply for the Christmas Challenge, your charity must have an annual income of more than 25000 Your reserves policy should be in your charity's annual report. Please refer to the Charity Commission website for further information on reserves policies and to see some examples. You'll need to tell us about your reserves policy and your actual reserves, explaining any difference between the two. When you proceed, a pop-up will appear to remind you that you can't edit this information at a later date. You'll then be asked about your Christmas challenge target, so how much you aim to raise through the campaign to deliver your chosen project. This will automatically generate your target breakdown. So you can see how much you need to raise in pledges, how much you're e eligible to access from a Big Give Champion, and what your online donation target is. 
please note that the minimum is £4,000 and the maximum is £100,000. In addition, you cannot request more than 10% of your annual income from a champion, so please keep this in mind when writing your target. It's really important to set a realistic target for the Christmas challenge because you'll only be able to access the funds from your champion when you've used all of the pledges to match online donations. So you want to be confident you can raise the amount your online donations target is so you can access all of your matching pot. There's more guidance on this in your Stage 1 application guide. Next, you'll be required to explain how you will raise your target amount in online donations and what you would do if you raised more or less. If you scroll down, you can see that you'll be asked about one to three sources of funding your charity is most proud of. This helps us to understand what sources of funding you currently receive and which other funders have supported your work. Finally, you'll have the opportunity to talk about any high profile supporters who may be able to help you market your charity's involvement in the campaign and any awards, memberships or accreditations you have. If you don't have any, that's completely fine. Please just enter NA in these questions. This is your opportunity to stand out, so do use the space wisely. The last section of the Stage 1 application requires you to fill in the details of the main point of contact for the Christmas challenge, whether this is your current Big Give contact or another member of staff. It's important for the main Christmas challenge contact to check their emails regularly as we'll send all key information regarding the campaign to this email address. For details on how to update this contact information at a later date, please refer to the Stage 1 application guide. You'll need to ensure that the postal address is correct and up to date as champion funds might be sent to this address after the challenge. Then, just confirm that you have the authority to register the Christmas challenge for the campaign and that you've read the essential documents and agreed to the terms and conditions. Once you complete Stage 1, you are automatically entered into Stage 2 of the application, Pledge Promises. For full guidance on Stage 2, please refer to the guide and video available in your Christmas Challenge dashboard. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it's helpful. The Big Give team is happy to help you throughout the process, so just email us at info at if you have any questions.